This demonstration acts as a brief guide to the short landing performance of the Vixen. This video should not be taken as a lesson rather than a showcase of the aircraft performance. The Vixen POH caught a stall speed at its maximum takeoff weight of 27 knots. When flying single pilot and half fuel, the stall speed will be reduced even further. Based on the Vixen POH, with normal procedure, the aircraft would land within 100 meters at the maximum takeoff weight. With practice and assisted with the correct technique, this distance can be significantly reduced. On this particular day, the density altitude was calculated as 1,780 feet, which was provided by the Dynan D10A display which was installed on the aircraft. The purpose of this video is to demonstrate how to safely land using the shortest ground roll possible. It is particularly important when you need to land outside of an airfield environment to minimize potential damage to the airframe. It will, however, add excess brake wear and therefore should not be used for normal landings. The A32 utilizes a unique full span flap run. As a result, very precise and positive roll control is provided down to the stall speed. Knowing when the aircraft stalls and what signs to look for in the cockpit are very important in order to get the shortest landing roll possible, and we highly recommend to practice stalls at a safe altitude in the training area with an instructor. The energy we need to dissipate is proportional to the aircraft weight time the square root of its landing speed. Therefore, we are trying to land the slowest and safest speed as possible. It is important to practice in your own aircraft and on a date-specific weather condition and aircraft weight so you can achieve best results. The main goal behind the short landing technique in the Vixen is to make sure we touch down firmly, not hard but firm, at the stall point of the aircraft. Basically, we like to make sure the wing produces as little lift as possible by taking flap off when we touch down to transfer as much weight to the wheel to assist with friction and braking. 1. Fly a stable approach with full flap at speed of 35 to 40 knots. 2. Identify visually your designated wheel's touchdown point. Make sure it's very clear to you where you would like to put the wheels down. Then aim about 15 meters or so prior to it to allow for flare and any flow. 3. Enter ground effect and, with smooth and small application of power, maintain speed of between 30 to 35 knots, but no more. 4. When you approach your touchdown point, and no more than about 10 to 15 cm above the ground, move your hand from the throttle to the flap handle. 5. Flare as normal with smooth increase of the nose attitude as speed is quickly reducing. 6. Just before the main wheels touch the ground and just before the aircraft stall, positively reduce the flap to zero, making sure you land firm, but not hard, with the main wheels first. Then, move your hand back to the brake lever and apply maximum safe braking. 